CCTV's Tony Chang sat down with the Thai Prime Minister to discuss the ongoing political stalemate, and he started out by asking her whether she plans to step down. I think right now the protester would like uh, to have the people council. In democracy, we need to hear everyone. So under the constitution, under the law, so we have to follow by that, that, that process. So uh, I think that's only one thing that we would like to ask the protester that please do understand us. That's why we open the dialogue for all the group to, to find a way together for Thailand. You mentioned we're in the process building out to elections on the 2nd of February. For those elections to take place, you need a credible opposition to participate. Mm -hmm. We understand yeah. that the, the Democrat Party are currently considering their participation. What will you do if they announce tomorrow that they're not going to take part? Our Democrat Party uh, is the party that's very old party. I think that he's the, the uh, pa uh, Democrat is the oldest of the party, and also will be have the principle, uh, the stick with the the constitution. So I hope that. Uh, a Democrat will make decision to join the election, so make the Thailand back on the track. And of course, that the topic of the political reform or reform will be a, a, the one agenda that all the party have to handle because all the this is the request. And I think we we see the same thing. We are open that I think in Thailand we need to reform anyway. Absolutely, except that. We are in this position because of an amnesty bill that your party proposed, that it mm -hmm. pushed through. It was deeply unpopular with your own supporters, the Red Shirts, who didn't like the amnesty it was going to give to those involved in the 2010 crackdown. Many people say it's a, a personal favor to your brother to bring him back. Do you regret introducing that amnesty bill? I think let me talk about this. I don't think people deny on the amnesty, but people might not agree on the detail of the element of the amnesty. But I think all the, the information is like maybe uh, the, the miscommunicate, so make people misunderstanding about this act. So that's why a lot of people, but anyway, all the party concern already uh, commitment to the public that won't bring this amnesty bill again. So I think this is already over. But the protesters still keep raising of the point until not be uh, not uh, satisfied with the amnesty will. But right now they would like to propose the people council, which doesn't have exist in this law. So that's why we can't fulfill their need. But we are locked in something of a cycle of political deadlock. Right. Uh, your government comes into power. We see protesters out on the streets. Your government is deposed then we see the other side coming out but on the streets. We've seen this cycle repeated seven times now. But I think, yes, we understand the cycle. So you have to have the principle that you have to accept or recognize the voice of the people. So that's why we need the right process. But I think one thing that, um, of course, that whoever gonna win election, they will bring the topic of the reform of the countries 